This young boy is named Babsy. He is four years old and will be taken by rebels in Uganda and forced to kill his two parents and then be made join the rebels and fight and kill with them. My name is Babsy. I'm now eight years old. All I know now is killing and ruining other little boys' lives and making them join us in killing other families and enemies because that's the way of life in this country. This young girl is named Adimu. She is five years old and will be taken from her parents, forced into slavery and made into a sex slave by the rebels. She'll be forced to give birth in the forest with no medical attention. Many children are born disabled because of this. This is Adimu and she is now terrified. Oh no. This is Adimu and she is now 13 years old and a sex slave. She gave birth to a disabled child in the forest and her child is not allowed to go to school and get an education because of this. None of Adimu's family can get married now either as they're a disabled person in the family and it is feared that the family will produce more disabled children. More disabled children. My name is Aziza and thanks to the students of Arklow Uridge, I am now able to get an education because they collected equipment for disabled children like me and they raised money to pay for operations so we could lead a better life and have more to look forward to. Due to me not being disabled anymore because of Arklow Uridge's community's generosity and kindness, my mother at Nemu is now entitled to get married in the future and move on with her life and I can do the same. This is a member of Arklow Reach who raised money to fund operations. Zespa Kids is an Irish based charity with a passion for helping children in desperate circumstances. They exist to fight injustice, love us a family and empower children. They do this because they want to live in a world where every child knows they are special and loved. Zespa Kids helps ch child soldiers in Africa, children in the slums and the streets of India, children in prisons and in orphanages in Eastern Europe. We're all kids ourselves and we know how important children are. They are the future. We want to make as many people as possible aware how vital operations are, medicine and the medical equipment are to the children that's for kids support. Without support from others, we wouldn't be where we are today. Be able to, to be able to live in a world with normal, healthy, happy lives, looking to the future. We want all children to have these vital things. Arklow Uteridge held a football marathon, coffee morning, invited a local ladies darts team to hold a darts competition. We wrote newspaper articles, information leaflets and had a collection in a local supermarket. We asked the public to donate their unwanted Zimmer frames, crutches and wheelchairs so that we could send these to aid children's recovery after they have their operations. We invited the Mayor of Arklow and the President of the Arklow Chamber of Commerce to a presentation on Zest for Kids. We informed our community about these children and the many problems they encounter daily and the ways in which they could help them. <laughs> 